हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज कूल आई टी हेल्प एंड दिस इज जुपिटर नोटबुक एंड विजुअल स्टूडियो को टूटोरियल सेशन पार्ट थ्री इफ यू हैव सीन द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस टूटोरियल सीरीज आई होप यू गाइज आर फैमिलियर विद द इंस्टॉलेशन एंड द क्रिएशन ऑफ नोटबुक जुपिटर नोटबुक इन विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड इन दिस टूटोरियल सेशन वी विल लर्न वर्किंग विद द कोड सेल इन द एडिटर इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल कवर these points like creating a code cell after that we will understand the code cell modes and how to add the additional cell then how we can select the cell and how we can run a single cell multiple cell and all these stuff we will cover one by one let's begin so first we will start from the uh, the empty jupiter notebook i hope you have Visual Studio Code ready, and uh, you have created one IPYNB extension file. Make sure on the right hand side you have this Python interpreter selected. Okay, so Python must be selected on right hand side, and this will be appear here. Okay, only then you will be able to run the code cells. Okay, to create a code cell here we have the option, the button, click on it plus code. So once code cell will appear. and right now this is in unsaved state and this is selected so you can call it selected mode and now we are ready to write some code inside this code cell so i have just declared one string variable now i'm trying to print this with the help of print function that's all so this is the way you can create a code cell now if we talk about the code cell modes so when you have more than one code cell so we can say if one cell is selected so you can see this blue bar just left to the code cell so this is called the selected state and the, the second cell is in unselected state okay if you are going to run this line by line then this will be called as a command mode so you can say your code cell is in command mode because you are running it this is in progress state so this way you can run it line by line and simply want to jump to the second line press f10 and if you want to move further simply click on that icon and the whole code will be executed at once and you will see the result here so here we have the second code cell so when you click on the code cell that will be selected and if you want to run that code cell code on the left hand side you have this play button so when you click on this button this code will be executed now moving to the next thing you can see uh, we have added the additional cell so in the same way if you required more cells simply click here and add new code cell and you can write your code in that okay so for the next thing i have just created the another third blank code cell and uh, selection and deselection of the code cell is very simple you can use the up and down keys to select the code cell or you can simply click the mouse pointer on the code cell so this way you can jump to one code cell to another code cell now the thing is if you want to run a single code cell which is very easy on the left hand side there is a button to run as i have told you okay in case you have uh, so many code cells available and you want to uh, run all those code cells at once so we have the button on the top here once you press this all code cells will be executed and you can see the output great so this is very convenient place to run the multiple code cells now in case you want to move a code cell up and down that is quite easy simply 
we have a different kinds of option to execute the cell above cell below also we have a few more options here if you click on these three dots but we want to move so like this what i am doing bring your mouse pointer and you will see the hand icon once you see the hand icon press the mouse left button and just drag and drop wherever you want to move your cell this way as you can see i have moved the first cell to the second position look at this please so if you try it so you can be very comfortable to move the code cells with drag and drop also we have the option here in the control panel to run the code cell just above the highlighted code cell so you can see uh, the current code cell and the above code cell is executed and you can execute the current code cell and the below code cell so we have these controls as well on the right hand side and if you want to clear all outputs you can simply press this single button so all outputs will be cleared now if we want to delete a code cell this is again a very simple task on the right side you can see the control buttons in the this strip we have the delete button so you can simply delete that particular code cell okay now moving further if you want to switch between the code and the markdown view so what you have to do for that also we have the option to create an additional markdown file for our code cell so when you select any code cell you will see these two options okay but our target is to convert our code cell into the markdown view oh. right here on this control panel you have these three dots just click on it then you will see the options here you will see change cell just click on it and then the corresponding markdown view will be appeared and if you want to switch back to the code again click on these three dots and you have the option change cell to code okay this way you can switch between the markdown to code and code to markdown there's a shortcut m and y for that you can note down and keep this in the note so this way you can convert now further we will see the next activity so clearing the output is very easy task so and now we will see how to restart the jupyter server if you want to interrupt or restart so here's a button once you click on it you will see the message that you are going to restart the jupyter kernel so if you click on it on the bottom you can see the small message now this is restarted this will not take much time in the restart activity so guys these are the activities we must know if we are working with the jupyter notebook environment in visual studio code so this is all about in this tutorial session in the upcoming tutorial session we will cover few more important things in jupyter notebook in visual studio code so guys if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help